What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, the Hanger Half Asian. So my nephew is going on the carnivore diet. Uh, he called me up, I was giving him some tips and tricks and things of that nature and uh, going over what supplements I take. So I figured I might as well do a video about it. So here we go. Okay, meals. You wanna get, you know, you wanna get to about three meals a day, then to two meals and eventually maybe one meal. But I think for right now, if you're starting off from a standard American diet, uh, I would highly suggest doing three meals a day, just do standard breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So for breakfast, what I would suggest is about three to four eggs in the morning with three to four pieces of bacon, a third a stick of butter. Now you're gonna see a theme here that we're really gonna crank up the butter. So, uh, and the fats. When you're doing a carnivore diet, if you don't crank up your fats, you're gonna feel lethargic, you're gonna get tired, you're gonna get lazy, and uh, you're not gonna feel all that great. So you really wanna crank up the fats early on until your body gets adjusted. So that's why uh, I would highly suggest eating a stick of butter a day, all right? So again, breakfast, eggs, bacon, butter, okay? Now you can, you can switch that out for ground beef if you can tolerate that in the morning. I typically do, so I'll do maybe like one or two eggs and maybe a half a, a, half a pound of, uh, of ground beef and maybe some cheese, but that's, that's completely up to you. All right, so for lunch, I would say uh, ribeye, if you have access to that. If you're out in a work setting, I would say, you know, a half a pound to three quarter pound of ground beef with some cheese on it and a quarter or a third stick of butter. All right, so like I said, crank up those fats. All right, so for dinner, big ass ribeye. All right, let's do a pound, pound and a half. You could do, uh, you could do some hamburger, th you know, I don't know, half pound, three quarter pound of hamburger with some cheese on it, third stick of butter, okay? Crank up those fats, can't stress enough. Um, and that, that's about it. So eat to satiety. So if you need to eat something else, you need some eggs, you need some more cheese, if you wanna add some nuts, I wouldn't suggest that early on, but maybe you could add some walnuts or some peanuts. Again, I wouldn't suggest that if you're starting off, starting off on the carnivore diet. I think that's for later on. We could talk about that in a little bit. All right, so another carnivore pro tip, if you will, is electrolytes, all right? I cannot stress this enough. So along with cranking out the fats, you need to get your electrolytes in. So when you go on the carnivore diet, you're not eating any carbs. So when you're not eating carbs, your body isn't holding onto any water. So you just flush all that water out. Now, when you do that, you also flush out your electrolytes. So you have to really crank them up. So I have some electrolytes here. So you can buy some, this is a Ultima Replenisher. I'll put a link down in the description. They have a couple different flavors. This is really good. You throw it in your water. Uh, I, I, you're gonna have to really try to put it in every uh, 12 ounces of water you drink. Um, the other option is you get some Celtic sea salt. Again, I'll put it all down in the description and some new salt, which is some potassium chloride. You wanna go like a one-to-one -one ratio here. Uh, I really just eyeball it right by the, the tablespoon. Um, the snake diet, if you ever heard of it, they have a, a recipe for what they call quote unquote snake juice, which is really an electrolyte drink. I would also suggest maybe doing that at least in the interim. I'll put a link down in the description <laughs> for the snake, the snake juice, but you really want to crank up your electrolytes. Okay. So I can't, I can't really stress this enough that you're going to have to almost overdo it with salt and potassium. Um, if you don't, you're going to, you're, you're going to get the keto flu. So because you're flushing out all these carbs out of your body, you get a little bit of the DTs, right? <laughs> From not having sugar, uh, you know, in your body and you're going to, you're going to go through withdrawal and, uh, a lot of people feel like they have the flu and one way to combat that is electrolytes. Okay. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is really a, a pro tip or not. But it's really just don't worry about pooping, okay? So <laughs> I didn't really have this problem, but you know, my partner did. She, she pooed her face off. Uh, I know a lot of other people, you'll hear it. Uh, when you're on the carnivore diet about the third or fourth day, all the microbes in your body start to die off that were really you know, digesting carbohydrates, right? And fermenting carbohydrates. 
So when they all die, you end up pooping a lot. For whatever reason, I didn't really have that experience. I had the reverse. I actually got constipated. So everyone's a little bit different, but keep in mind that there is gonna be an adjustment period. Sometimes it can be a couple days. Some people have said that they pooed their face off for up to two weeks. Um, for me, I was constipated. You know, I'm pooping, I'm still now just pooping like every third day or fourth day and really just a small amount. Uh, again, you know, when you start adding in other fibrous materials, we'll talk about that in a little bit, uh, after you've been on the carnivore diet for some time, uh, you'll obviously poo more. But don't worry about the pooing. It's, uh, it, it passes, trust me. All right, supplements. I'll go over a couple of supplements I do take. I do take uh, some fish oils. You'll see here, this is the standard process. Come on, focus. Standard process tuna omega-3s. I also take collagen. So this is uh, vital proteins, collagen peptides. So there's 20 grams of collagen per serving, paleo and keto friendly. Uh, this is unflavored. They have vanilla and chocolate, some other flavors. Great brand, uh, grass-fed and pasture-raised uh, collagen. Uh, obviously collagen, if you've heard uh, anything about it on the news <laughs> you know, and on the web, it's really good for your skin. Apparently it's good for your uh, joints and for muscle synthesis. Um, I'm just kind of hedging my bets. So is it really true? I don't really know. It tastes, you know, tastes okay, blends in pretty much anything. Why not? Next one, MCT oil. So can you focus? All right, so MCT oil. Not all MCT oil is created equal. Uh, this one is a blend like a lot of them. This one has C8 and C10. So C8 is caprylic acid, C10 is uh, capric acid. This one has 55% caprylic C8 and 35% C10. What does all that mean? Well, I'm not gonna get into the science, but what I can say is that C8 is the most effective or really the most energy dense, or really the most effective at converting ketones in your body and really converting them into energy. And it's great for uh, cognitive benefits as well. So most MCTs are a blend. C8, 100% C8 is a little more costly. And if you wanna you know, dive into something, I would say human, human brand. Uh, this is human brands chocolate MCT oil powder. I found that after taking this in like 10 to 15 minutes, my cognitive awareness is through the roof. My energy is definitely much higher um, after I've taken this. And to be honest with you, this is just a, a, a really quality product. And I would, uh, I would suggest if you have the money, uh, I would take this. Link will be down in the description. All right, so protein powder. Now, if you're like me, a gym rat, you know, you're just used to taking protein powder, right? So you're, mix, you know, you're mixing your whey protein after, you know, before and after a, a gym session. So if you really feel like you need protein, this is Paleo Pro. It's uh, organic egg and uh, grass-fed beef that's essentially just ground up with a little cacao and monk fruit. It's absolutely amazing, right? Tastes like, tastes like protein, um, mixes really well. I put it in... Uh, macadamia nut milk, you can put it in almond, almond milk, what have you, but it's a great product. Uh, it's a little pricey though. Again, link will be down in the description, but I would highly suggest if you're, you know, if you feel like you need to take protein powder, I would definitely take this. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see next. All right, thanks guys. My nipples.